We're now going to chat to, to Bridget from, from Promac Paints. And you're probably rushing through your minds now as though, how do you plan paint? Well, we're going we're gonna to find <laughs> out. We're going to find out how you plan paint, because paint isn't just paint. It can do a whole lot of different things. Um, yes, it can, and it can also cause a lot of problems as well. So, sorry, Bridget Pryor from Promac Paints. Um, I run the trade division that's really on um, projects, housing, uh, corporates, um, buildings, redeck as well as new work. Um, I'm I've split my uh, presentation in just to tell you a little bit about ProMac and the philosophy behind it, where it started in 1992 with two long-term friends, and um, they built a brand um, that is, that's really a quality paint with affordable prices, and um, it actually started from very humble beginnings. Today, um, we are on top five painting manufacturers in South Africa. Um, we are the largest privately owned paint manufacturing, uh, South African paint manufacturing in South Africa. Um, we have um, been in the market, as I said, for, for 23 years. We have a large range of paints from a life expectancy of three years to 15 years. Um, we also allied to Arbin RB10 um, performance coating and Harris brush brushes where we are licensed to sell them in South Africa and um, we also linked to some leading chains and hardware stores in South Africa where we actually make their paint and you are able to get guarantees from them because we supply it because we manufacture the paint and here's some of the leading stores at Builders you've got Fired Earth which I think a lot of you might be um, familiar with, where we are guaranteeing paint from three years to um, 15 years as well. We've got Chamberlain's, the Chamberlain's house brands, Jack's, the DIY game, that's Homestead uh, brand, and Burko, where they predominantly sell our brand, the Pro Mac brand, is in their stores. And with all these um, stores, we write specifications tailor-made for each and everybody's um, uh, uh, budget and what they want paint to do with the house because paint enhances the design of housing mm -hmm. and together with paint comes colour. Now both of them play a very important role as finishing coats with Sempcrete. It's not only from an aesthetic point of view but it's also from a protection point of view on the um, on your substrates. The blue seal is the package that we offer also to homeowners as well as to the professional um, the professional asset owners like um, your growth points and things like that so we don't distinguish between the two. Paint is unfortunately <coughs> the last thing that goes on the wall but it's also the first thing that shows that there are problems. And it's not always the paint that has the problem. It indicates that there's a problem to the substrate. So we have developed the whole um, blue seal, which encompasses a whole value add package that we have put together that's actually free of charge. We will come, we'll assess the surface, because it's very important for one to actually see the type of substrate that we're going to be painting. Um, has it got a smooth finish? Has it got a bad finish? Because if it's got a bad, uneven finish, you can't really go on with conventional paints. You're going to have to use high build or textured, a textured coating. So, if you look at um, the four pillars that we are looking at to say that it's going to take your um, building to ensure that this the sustainability is the good surface preparation. That is 90%. If you do that right, you can have the cheapest paint that can perform as well as the most expensive paint, uh, provided that you make sure that your surface has been done correctly. And that's also ensuring to make sure that your water content, that the moisture in the wall, especially on new buildings, with all the fast track uh, projects, 
Um, the standard is 8%. Um, over time, primers have evolved where you can have up to 12%. And if you have a good surface prep and a good primer, then it really doesn't matter the type of top coats that you're wanting. It's all about personal choice and color. Okay. With our guarantees, we also have introduced what we call a maintenance package. And where that comes from is that you take a motor car, you buy a brand new motor car, you get guarantees on your motor car, but what is the one thing that you have to do to ensure that that guarantee goes forward? So you have to have your motor car serviced. Well, a building is exactly <coughs> the same. Um, when you have a building, and you have painted it. You need to maintain it. You need to make sure that when the cracks start appearing, that you address it sooner rather than later. We have a lot of buildings that we go to is that we find that the homes have um, been painted. They've got a guarantee in, but nothing has been done in between a guarantee, say seven years or ten years, um, and where water goes in. So if you've left that if you've left your surface, you haven't maintained it, um, the cost at the end is far greater than if you are maintaining your building, fixing the cracks, and just maybe repainting another wall corner to corner where you've repaired. And um, when the time comes for you to um, redo that uh, the entire building because you want to change the color, the cost is not so expensive because it's really, you are buying paint just for aesthetics and not really to repair your building. Um, at Primac, when we do the, um, the specification, we, do a, we give you a copy of the assessment, you get a copy of the specification, you get a copy of um, the colors that were used, um, a, the color schedule, as well as a booklet like your service book that your car gets, mm -hmm. that you can have your building maintained at, so at regular intervals. Bridget, you, Thank you. I think you handled everything there. <laughs> yeah, so, I did. But, I, but I do have a mm. couple of questions. Mm. Um, from a homeowner's point of view, um, the contractor's probably going to come arrive with the paint and you're not really sure what's going on. Mm. Um, it could be rubbish. How does, how does a homeowner um, connect with that? So that the, the contractor is saying I used Promac X Y Z, or with the architect, and I know this is now it's a it's a con thing because we're saying the architect's not on site, but mm. where's the, who owns that specification and how can the owner check that it's been done correctly? Well, the paint manufacturer owns the paint specification when you're using, regardless of which brand you are using, the paint manufacturer owns the paint specification. Um, together with the guarantee, the, the, the archi not the architect, the painting contractor owns the guarantee for workmanship, but the actual paint specification the manufacturer owns. But today you'll find in the uh, marketplace that you get what we call a back-to-back -back guarantees, where the paint manufacturer and the applicator have come together and they're giving you one guarantee. Um, and that is to really protect the home owner <coughs> should something happen so that the paint company can't blame the painting contractor and the painting contractor doesn't blame the paint. That they actually work together to find a solution. Because you do have problems. You do have substrate problems, um, cracking. And cracks are very predominant today because of the fast track of projects. The buildings are not drying out and allowed to dry out like they did maybe even 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So um, having those buildings, because um, they also put additives into the cement as well to make that cement dry a lot quicker. So um, it also forms a lot of these um, hairline cracks that you are seeing today that maybe you didn't see so, before. So, um, Bridget, mm. I think I think the answer there is that you've got to use a contractor mm. 
mm. um, that has a back-to-back -back guarantee. Yes. Contractor, they're saying I used this and, particular paint. And they and are preferred applicators that have been trained yeah. by the manufacturer yeah. how to apply paint because it's not just about applying the paint. You've got to f measure the film thickness of the paint because if you have a, f a very thin paint and they haven't adhered to the film thicknesses of the paint, um, that's going to be a problem because you're not going to get the life expectancy out of your paint because they haven't put enough paint on. So normally they work together on, on a project where the manufacturer actually, while they're applying the paint, they actually come and do site inspections to make sure they're using enough paint and that you're actually paying, getting what you paid for. Right. Um, Bridget will also be here after the, the seminar to chat to. So it's Bridget Pryor from, from ProMac Paints. Thank you Thank so you. much, Bridget. That's, thanks. Thanks. Thanks.